I want to talk about people who watch pornography, people who have sex before marriage, people who have sex with people that are married that they are not married to. Before I speak on it, let me tell you this supernatural experience that I had. And I don't like it, but let me tell you it because I pray that it really helps you. Anyways, many times when we dream, we may believe that it is only a dream, but some of the time we are having supernatural experiences. To what percent, I don't know, but many of the time we may be having supernatural experiences. Okay. Now, I went to bed and I believe I was asleep. Anyways, I was in this dark room. I could not really see anything. And it seemed as though I was on this stone table. And I could not move at all. I could not move. And I looked up. And I saw this female demon's head, huge, huge head. I don't know how long and the curves and stuff like that, but this demon gave me like an evil smirk. Like I was able to see the eyes. I believe it had yellow eyes. I believe. And... It had like a evil smirk. And just the look of it is torment alone. If that demon did not do anything to me, just looking at it would have been torment by itself. If you have sensitive ears, perhaps you should leave now because I am going to speak about some things that you may not want to hear. Okay. So while I could not move and I was freaked out when I saw it, I'm like, whoa. And my consciousness was the same as it is now. Like I could think the same way and everything like that. That is why I knew or I know that it was a supernatural experience because the way that I am now, I was that way in that supernatural experience. So what this demon did, it took two fingers, I believe, and placed it like down my throat or something like that. And I don't know if it was painful with that. I believe it was, yes. And with its other hand, if you have sensitive ears, <laughs> leave now with this other hand or her hand that demon was masturbating me and I believe that, that was painful as well but the crazy thing about it while I was feeling pain I was feeling pleasure as well which makes no sense I guess I don't know and during the whole thing like, I wanted it to end, like, to stop, but I could not move. I could not say anything. And to make a long story short, I don't know the proper word for it, but I was able to shoot out semen, like, six times, which for a guy is impossible and then the amount of semen I was able to shoot out was like crazy like so much you know for a guy you can probably do it twice or three times at most after the third time nothing is going to come out you know perhaps the first time is the most the second time a little bit less the third time like nothing but I was able to do it six times back to back like really like quick 
And when I woke up, like I was so angry, man, like so mad. Like I was asking God, like, why did you allow this demon to touch me? the same way that a person touches you? That is how it felt for me. Like as if I was touched because I really was touched. Like I could feel it. Even when I woke up, I can kind of feel it as well. If that makes any sense. You can feel if a person have touched you, right? Like even after like even if that person is not touching you now like you can kind of feel it and i believe that is how i felt so i was really like mad like really angry man and i was hurt too now i was not penetrated or anything like that but i believe if i am not saying this wrongly but that felt like rape. I'm serious. Like, I could not do anything, and this demon was doing stuff to me, and everything like that. It really felt like rape. And, like, my mind, like, my mind was kind of messed up over that for about two days or more. Like, I couldn't really get over that. It was really hard for me to accept that. And I was thinking, like, why did God allow this? Like, what did I do? I don't watch porn. I don't watch anything crazy. I don't think I did. I don't know. I was so mad. And this happened maybe three months ago or something like that. So let me speak about people who watch pornography, who have sex before marriage, who have sex with people that are married, that they are not married to, which I have done before, and have sex before marriage, and watched porn and stuff like that. I did all of that. You have no idea what you are doing. You don't know what is going on. You don't see the demons that are intervening when you are masturbating, watching porn, and having sex before marriage or having sex with someone that you were not married with. You have no idea. What if you were able to see those demons? Would you still have fun? Yes, I know it is fun to date a new person, you know, to meet with them, you know, and talk with them and learn things about them and stuff like that. Yes, that is fun, I guess. But to have sex with them, phone sex or anything like that, you have no idea what you are doing. Now, I was able to see to a certain point what was going on, what that demon was doing to me. But when you are having sex or masturbating or having sex with someone before a marriage and stuff like that, you don't know what is actually going on. Demons, I believe, when you are disobeying God, they are able to touch you. I was allowed to be touched when I was serving God. So if you are in sin, sure enough, <laughs> you are allowed to be touched as well. <laughs> So what if you could see the demon when you are watching porn? You know, when you watch porn, you are probably like, you know, like, oh man, you know, man, man, that girl is thick, you know, <laughs> whatever. But what if you could see that demon right by you, entertaining itself while you are being entertained as well? Or while you are with this guy or this woman and you doing what you are doing to that person and that demon is joining in with you all, would you still do it? I was allowed to be touched when, while I was serving God. I don't think I was in sin. I don't think so. But 
I was serving God and was allowed to be touched and I could see the demon. So you are in sin, sinning. So if I was allowed to be touched, what is those demons doing to you while you are doing those sins? Think about that. Have you thought about that? The creepy stuff that demons are doing to you while you are having sex or masturbating by yourself or watching porn. Think about that. Would you still enjoy it? Let's say that you are watching porn. Would you be all into it? Like, man, like, wow, that girl, mm, that dude, whatever, you know? Like, oh, man. Would you still be enthused to watch it? If you see, if you saw all those demons around with those evil grins and smiles, demons are hideous, man. I was allowed, I don't know how many times, but I had visions and other things of demons before. And each time, they are hideous. They are not cute. They are not pretty. They are hideous. But, you know, you just want to, you know, have sex before marriage and say, hey, let me do me, you know, let me do what I want to do. But what if God opened your eyes and boom, you saw it? Sex would be the last thing that you would think of. But while you are doing it, they are there. Think about that. Think about that. And God really didn't open my eyes until I started to do the right things. But while I was doing the wrong things, I remember this one time when I could see this, you know, I believe I made a video of it where I could see a demon over this woman's face, like for a quick second, that was freaky. So, I pray that this makes sense. You believe that you are having fun, but actually, demons are having more fun than you. You are doing something that you believe that is good for you or you are enjoying, but actually what you are doing is allowing demons to have more influence over you and allowing those demons to put more curses upon you because, man, when you choose to disobey God, God is going to curse you. God is going to allow demons to mess with you more. I was allowed to be touched when I was serving God. What are demons doing to you when you are sinning? Imagine that. Imagine that. My Lord. Hey, Kevin, you know, that girl is fine. You know, I just got to do what I do. Or that guy over there, man, this guy have a six pack and he got big old biceps and stuff like that. You know, I have to holler at that guy. You know, I have to do what I do. Man, even with all of these demons, well, I can't see them, and since I can't see them, they are not really there, really. All right. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.